bodybuilder, okay, he's been competing for a couple of years, and he's been improving his game dramatically in the last year, so we're going to see if we can dial him with the, in with the uh, upper back with the, the dumbbell row, single arm dumbbell row, and we'll see if we can dial in his form a little bit and help him to get more out of his sets. So what I'm going to have you do, Mike, go ahead and take position there. Now one thing I'm noticing here right off the bat, notice how close Mike's leg is to the bench. Think about it. If you're pulling a significant load, you want a wide, stable platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is get his foot out here so that he can support the weight that he's going to be pulling. Okay, the next thing I'm going to have him do is take a thumbless grip. And the reason being, we're not training the forearms or the biceps. We want to target the lats, the upper back. So we want to remove the thumb from the equation and that will bypass the forearm and, and bicep muscles. Okay, Mike, you got your thumb on strip, you got your hand down. Now I want you to go ahead and pull and twist. Okay, yep, bring it right back down. Now you notice there's very little movement in Mike's upper back. What I want him to do is I'm going to have him reach that thumbbell out of the way from me. Okay, now draw it up and I'm going to twist. Okay, there you go, go ahead and reach. Okay, now Mike, I just made Mike more dynamic. In other words, there's more movement. Now he's pulling right into this spine. That's something I can't do with these pieces of garbage. <laughs> it's not working for me. Well, here's a problem. See these? China straps, they're junk. So we're going to hook Mike up with some of uh, LPG Muscles hauling them. See that? Lift more, pull more, grow more. You'll do that on your first set. Since Mike is using a uh, since Mike is using a thumbless grip for better lat targeting, which is so important, he needs a grip aid that's not going to fail him. But we got the answer. And as you can see, the patented features on this, number one, is our center pull hook. That hook always holds on center and will never spin off a bar and drop a bar. And I don't care if your hands totally fail, our holy books never will. Another item is, you know Mike had the uh, straps here? Well, he can still use straps. He can still use the strap and wrap because we have the patented uh, combination. But we're not even going to use those for this. We're just going to have him put that up there and use the hooks. But if he would choose to use these, he doesn't have to take the hooks out. Just spin it back and wrap it just like you would with the normal wraps. Okay, Mike. So, we got a ton of neoprene on there, or neoprene for wrist comfort and also the uh, Velcro. You won't pull them off. It's a rated at 800 pounds. Nice thing is, I got big hands, big wrists. That fits nicely. Fits nice? You like that? Yeah, it fits real nice and actually comfortable. Nice. Okay, go ahead and we're going to put this right up. Before we're not going to use it, just velcro that there. Go ahead and put the other one on. And then I want you just to hook that hook on with your thumb of strip. Okay, put the strap up, hook that. Thumb of strip. Just let those hooks do the hook. Hold. Okay, Mike, go ahead. There you go. There you go. Okay, go ahead. Hold. Much easier, much nicer. Good. And now, he doesn't have to focus on his grip anymore. The hooks are doing the job for him. What he's focusing on is his targeted muscle group in his upper back. Nice form, Mike. He's getting a nice trunk rotation. He follows the dumbbell down with his shoulder. He follows it back. Oh. I'm feeling the forearm, the lat, and the forearm, the lat, and the forearm, a lot less out of the equation. Way more out of the equation. Uh, awesome. Like, the hook itself is nice because I don't have to use my hand and worry about my freaking forearm cranking out. Yeah. Or my uh, wrist starting to bother me or anything. It's nice to worry about the smooth rotation. Good forearm, buddy. Single arm dumbbell row. Highly effective upper back training room, three weight room. 
made all the more effective with Paul and Hook's hold on us. All I gotta say is the competition better look out. Well, you better. You can't get some butt by Paul. No doubt about it. Come on, Mike. Mike's amplifying the training effect by doing a little pause in the, full, in the peak of the contraction, which is always a good rule. Woo! Good form, Mike. My lats are on fire. Oh, yeah. Love it. There you have it. See where I'm going to go road. My lats, you can see from that set, pump. That's, that's incredible. I love the pump. <laughs> yeah, I'm flabbergasted by the little difference just by that pump. Yeah. And all, all, you know whether you're doing on a mark, on the bar, the last right pull down, yeah. get the thumb out of the equation and just let the hooks draw and all you do is think about pulling in your elbow. Okay, it's so funny, like, I didn't notice it really until we just started doing that. How much you do you do use the thumb until you point it out and you use your forearm so much more. It's just natural. That's yeah. what you naturally do. Yes, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's awesome. <laughs>